And then we also have this page that says none of the women in this magazine have been retouched. And that's our official stance on retouching. We're the only magazine that doesn't do that. We just felt like women's magazines weren't what we needed at the time and they were really negative and talking about this really narrow ideal of beauty that we never fit up to and always making us feel like we didn't have enough and we needed to be more than we were. And so the main line that I love the most about this is um, holding the modern mold of a woman up to the fire to evoke a discussion on femininity and to reshape an authentic design. Not only interesting but original, not only good enough but exceptional and not just here but here for a purpose. And so on the covers, we intentionally zoom out on the models instead of having them huge with their face just to show that women are more than just their beauty, that they're part of an environment and a community. So we choose a different environment for every cover. So this camera is like a baby robot, which I love. It's, um, I don't know how old it is, but it's definitely vintage. And the reason I got it is because I realized that in such a fast-paced world, we're always taking millions of photos every time, or every moment, and not even existing in the moment we're in sometimes, and just shooting hundreds and hundreds of things, and you're trying to show someone what you were doing last month when you were in Greece or whatever, and you're scrolling through your iPhone, and then sometimes they get deleted or your cloud doesn't back up, and I just thought, I want lasting photos of my life, and I want to be able to discipline myself to not have more technology, but less and so this helps me be disciplined when I'm with people to capture that one moment that I want and then I put it in a photo album so I have anywhere from one to five photos from every event that I've been at birthdays travel anything else that was meaningful anything that happens at Darling and put them in a photo album so that I can go through it by season for the whole year and just look over my year and show it to people and, and show it to my kids someday too so it leaves more of a tangible legacy to your life.